right, welcome back. Trader John Caruso here for the morning of October 4th, doing a quick look in on the market, pre-market. Uh, we do have the stock market building on yesterday's gains. We're up about 1.5% on the S&P 500 at 37.45. We do have gold and silver prices continuing to climb as well here this morning. Gold prices sitting about 17, 18 on the charts. And silver actually cleared a major hurdle in the overnight at 2084. Bond yields are also coming in right now. We're at 360 on the charts. Uh, bond yields have come in significantly, about 40 basis points at the long end of the curve uh, just since last week. So that's a very aggressive move in the 10-year uh, yields on the downside. So um, taking a look also yesterday, we did see the ISM numbers come in at a very paltry 50.9. Of course, if we break that 50 level, which we think we will in coming readouts on that number, that is signaling contraction inside the manufacturing sector. So. Um, Going back to the stock market here, I think one of the narratives going around is that the Fed is potentially on the on the brink of a pivot. Perhaps we are starting to see um, forward inflation expectations start to decline here as well, which is obviously a net positive in terms of the fight against inflation. However, you want to be very careful because that long end, the long end of the curve, yes, yields are coming down, but they may be coming down for other reasons outside of inflation just falling. They may be coming down because growth here domestically could be on the precipice of falling off a cliff. So you want to be very careful that it's okay to start buying stocks now because bond yields are falling. Potentially the Fed is on, a, on the brink of a pivot, which by the way, I don't have any uh, reason to believe that they are on the brink of a pivot. Uh, we are still expecting a 75 basis point interest rate hike in uh, the beginning part of November. So no reason to believe that. I think bulls are jumping the gun from that regards. But regardless, it is nice to see the market start to breathe a little bit and come up for air uh, on a nice two-day rally here. But uh, you want to be very careful chasing this chart. Uh, we do think uh, there is still a lot more chop uh, to come. We still have the uh, the VIX is still sitting at 29 right now. So you want to be careful uh, chasing the stock market with the VIX sitting uh, a hair away from 30 again. So be very careful out there. Uh, gold and silver, going back to gold and silver real quick. Um, gold, I think the risk parameters are pretty well defined here. 1666 has to hold on the downside. A pop above 1740 is going to be the next hurdle to make its way to 18. If we can get above 18 and close there, that does thwart off a lot of the bearish forces on the chart. There was a lot of cyclical bearish forces that were starting to build on that chart for the last few months. And I think that that um, uh, can, uh, can certainly... Uh, thwart that off if we can close above 1800 so yeah that's a big move a lot of room between here 1720 and 1800 we're not buying it here today i do think we're going to probably see some back and fill i'd like to see us get past this jobs number on friday uh the jobs number if that comes out very strong you got to remember that the fed also has a mandate to see the unemployment rate rise if the jobs numbers come out strong uh, that can certainly put a lot of this uh this price action we've seen in both stocks as well as uh, the bond market and gold and silver back on its heels. So uh, be careful out there. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Take care.